them their official papers saying that they are Turks. We used to give, uh, issue a paper saying that his national nationality is being uh, examined by the Turkish authorities until such time he has to be considered Turkish. It was not very easy. I can assure you it was not very easy. Yet some are still caught up in sweeps before they have a chance to contact the Turkish consulate. Without time to go through the normal channels, some Turkish diplomats mount daring and dramatic rescue missions that put their own lives in danger. Well, the story of Ambassador Khan is one of the most fascinating stories. Here is a person who is a diplomat. One of his functions is to protect Jews who, uh, or persons who claim uh, to be Turkish nationals. One day I was in the office. We had a man in the consulate. He came to say that... Uh, that a group of uh, Jews who claim to be Turkish nationals have been apprehended and have been assembled and boarded uh, on a train on its way to concentration camp. Now, another diplomat in his place would have lodged a protest uh, with the authorities, with the German authorities, typed up a nice paper and sent it out and gone back to his business. He decides to board the train. I saw all the Jews that I knew. They were all picked up and forcibly put in the wagon. He goes into the wagon, he says, I won't leave the wagon unless you release my persons from Turkish nationals. Two German officers arrive, SS troopers, and one of them, with his broken English, told me to leave the wagon. The German commander says, you have to get out. I said, I won't. Well, in that case, you will go with them. And he says, okay, I'll go with them. They were crying. They were really heartbreaking. Soldiers come, lock the door, and the train moves out of Marseille. We went about three hours. Dark, it's cold, miserable. The Germans realize they have a problem on their hands. This is a Turkish diplomat. Turkey and Germany still have diplomatic relations. When the train reaches the next stop in Arul, the train stops. The wagon door swings open. The German commander there comes up to him and says, Sir, unpleasant thing happened to the, the, the Marseille guard. So I'm, I'm very sorry. Take your persons off the train. He takes his boot. Nobody checks whether these are actually his person. He takes them off. Goes to the phone, calls up his office in Marseille, orders to bring uh, several vans, and these people are brought back to Marseille. Anyhow, I got all the Turks down. That's about all.